On April 5th, a Russian missile took the life of my beloved husband. He was at work when the missile struck in the middle of the day. It is very difficult for me to talk or think about it. It hurts a lot. But I'm trying to be strong and continue making videos about plants to show you, as caring for my plants is one of the few things that helps me distract myself from the horror around me. I've partially moved to a new apartment, and today I've planned a small tour of my balcony. But first, I'll show you the windowsills that face the balcony. So, let's start our quick tour. This is Hoya, Germany. I really like it. It's simple but interesting. Here is Lei Chan Forest. It has black edging and splash patterns on its long, large leaves. Overall, a beauty. It's considered an easy to care for Hoya. Here's one of my Hoya Lisa specimens. There's also Versalata variegated, as you can see. Hoya PNG 432. Its leaves turn beautifully under the sun, but there hasn't been any direct sunlight yet. I think when the sun is lower, it will get more sunlight, and the leaves will turn dark red and burgundy. This is Michelle, also one of two specimens, and it's great, and it blooms nicely. Hoya multiflora is finishing blooming now. If I touch it, the flowers might fall off. They look like little dragons. When they first bloom, they're more greenish, then develop this edging. The back petals turn more yellow. They haven't fallen off yet. Hoya lochii will bloom soon. I also have a small calamantan. And who else? Ah, yes! Hoya on the field! Hoya finlaysoni, IML 1555. When I do a separate overview of the Hoyas, I'll show it closer. There's also a small Hoya hypalasia. And there are a few Hoyas on the windowsill, which I'll show later. This is the view from my kitchen window. You can see the construction, but the Dnipro River is visible too. Now I'll show you the second window cell, and then we'll go to the balcony. The second window cell facing the balcony looks like this. Here are my old Hoyas. This is Crimson Queen, which will bloom soon. There's also tree color. I love these Hoyas. They might be simple and old, but I love them and won't part with them. Here is my Hoya Obscura. It hasn't turned red because it doesn't get direct sunlight, but it has bloomed a little, so I hope it will tan and bloom soon. Next is my Hoya Irina, and this is Viola. Hoya Megillivay. I like these young leaves. My taste in Hoyas has changed, and now I even like ordinary leaves. Next, we have Hoya Mathild, Splash, Pachiclata, Cordata Silver, and Grey Ghost. Hoya's silver dollar is hidden here, but it doesn't look very silver. It's hard to show everything on the windowsill, because it's easier to see each plant individually. Here's another Finlaysonii. I have two of them. This one has longer and more elongated leaves. I don't know the full names. When I started collecting Hoyas, they were just called Finlaysoni or Kodata. Later, more precise names and numbers were recorded. Mature Hoyas are just beautiful. That's all. I've shown these ones. I hope they bloom too. We'll see. Now, let's go to the balcony. I'll show you who I have here on the balcony right away. This is also a Hoya Nang Nooch. It got a bit of sun and even tanned a little. I really like this variety and the patterns on its leaves. Here's another leaf of this Hoya. When I moved the plants here, they suffered a bit, but I prefer growing them on the balcony at least while it's warm. Behind this Hoya is an avocado. It's just one of those plants I can't throw away. It takes up a lot of space and I don't really need it. I already threw out one pot and soon the second will go too because there's no room. Now, I'll move around and show you the balcony residence in more detail. So here we are on the balcony. I'll start showing them in a circle to try not to miss anyone. Starting from this corner, here I have forest cacti a regular long cactus. None have bloomed yet, so I can't show off, 
These forest cacti haven't had proper lighting yet. The leaves had different shapes. This one had these, and this one had those. Now their leaves are the same. So once they bloom, it will be clear. I don't know, maybe not exactly the same, but very similar. My Epiphila Marniera has recovered also here on the balcony. It immediately started looking better and began to grow properly. Here I have a monkey tail cactus. This is a yellow pitahaya growing from a seed. I don't know why I need it, but it's growing. It's prickly and probably won't bear fruit, but it's still growing. Until I get completely tired of it, it will stay. I have a cactus from Turkey, and this one too. It's so cute and fuzzy. Here's a plumeria, which is also periodically attacked by spider mites, but I'm not ready to part with it. I still want it to bloom. Unfortunately, the mites also attack these citrus plants. Since I don't want to spray dangerous chemicals here, I use bioproducts, which are less effective. So, I'm fighting the mites for now. We'll see, maybe I'll get tired and throw it away. Here, I have cacti. Some have bloomed. I'll put up photos to show you because right now they only have buds. They've already bloomed multiple times, so I'll show you. Here start my Korean succulents, which have been growing for a couple of months. They're so cool. Oh, I like them so much. They're so colorful. This doesn't look good because these are the cut stumps where I've trimmed the tops. The stumps don't look very nice. I won't go into their names now. I'll make a separate video for that later so I don't confuse myself. This is just an overview. This is a beautiful succulent, but it got sunburned. See how badly it's burned. This is an Echeveria with thick agave-like leaves. These are beauties too. Soon, I'll post an overview of the succulents arriving from Korea. In what condition they arrive. For example, this one arrived. It doesn't look good, right? It looks ugly and sickly. But look at this one, how it spread its leaves. It's already a beauty. This one has been growing for two months and this one just arrived. Next are the colorful ones. Beauty! These are sticks because the plants have no roots. And I'm trying to root them, so they have sticks. They have wide and heavy stems, so I had to make supports. These are my old ones. Here are crassulas. Here. There's also various other plants. I love this beauty very much. It looks like someone splattered paint on it, but no one painted it. It looked like this and still does. This one is also growing as a beautiful clump. There are also different beauties here. This is a cool Eonium. These are my mature Echeverias. They've been with me for over a year. Here are more cacti. This cactus has bloomed. If I don't forget, I'll put a photo. This one bloomed. This one will bloom. It will bloom with a pink wreath, right? Beautiful. I think it's a mammalaria. Here, my adenium will bloom. One Euphorbia mealy continues to grow. And there's another pink one over there. Don't mind the dirty windows. It's a thankless task to clean them. I cleaned them and it rained again and they got dirty again. Now I console myself by saying it provides shade for the plants. Here's my beautiful Euphorbia. I have two of them. I don't know why I bought two. They'd been growing for over a year too. Here's a crested Euphorbia. It's really cool. And now, there are some things on the tips. I don't know if they are flowers. Maybe someone knows. Please tell me. I don't know, you see. They look like this. Little bumps. I don't know. I'm making my way through this tomato tree thicket. Look at this giant. I told it if it doesn't bloom this year, I'll throw it out. Because it takes up. Look how much space it takes. I'm stepping back so I don't fall. See? It's almost touching the ceiling. And it takes up half the balcony. So we're making our way through this thicket. Here are more succulents. 
I've already mentioned, probably, that I have many because they arrived in clumps from Korea. My plants multiplied, I repotted them, but I don't feel like trading or selling them yet. That's why everything grows like this. Of course it's a lot, too much. I don't need so many, I don't need them, of course. I was given two sons of the areas as gifts, this one and this one. I supported it, and it seems to be alive, I don't know, I put a stick for support. Here are more Korean succulents. Here, as I mentioned, is another beautiful Euphorbia nilii with the largest flowers. I'll try again to root something from it, but it's amazing. I love it. Here's my Schlumbergera. It's a common pink one and has grown a lot. I pruned it very, very heavily. And within literally a week or two, it started growing again. So don't be afraid. Prune them if the branches are too long and hanging down getting in the way. Prune them, they'll grow back. Well, maybe some stubborn varieties won't grow back like this. Here I have Kalan Cho tomatoes. So what else do I have here? Here's a fig tree. Here are also the consequences of mites. They might still be here. I keep treating them. My passion flowers will bloom here. There's also a fruiting passion flower, but it suffered the most from mites, so it's almost without leaves because I removed them. So, who else is here? This smells because a little lemon tree is blooming. Of course it's small, and I don't expect any fruit, but it's blooming and really smells like an air freshener. It's cute, and very fragrant. There are some Hoyas here. This is Solawazy GPS. A bit dusty right now. Here I have Compacta. This is Meliflua. I hope to see these Hoyas bloom. Here are Hawartias. This is Dishidia ovata. It's so cool. This is my rosemary. A memory of my husband. He loved this plant very much. Here I have fluffy cacti. They're not blooming yet, so there's not much to show. Here's a new aloe. And this spotted plant is called Dremiopsis. It was unimpressive at home without light, but here it's covered in spots. It should also bloom. I have more Hoyas on the floor here where they get enough light. This is Erythrina. I also hope it blooms because it's already grown so large. Here, here. This is Hoya Balaensis. Such a lady. I also hope they bloom and make me happy. This is a huge Cardosa. And somewhere here is a Hoya Australis. My brothers bloomed very often. I hope mine will too. Well, I don't need it. It's so huge, but I can't throw it away. Here I have a Washingtonia palm grown from a seed. I think I have three of them. Well, where will I put them? So, who else is there? This is a Schlumbergera, a gift. And I see I killed one branch, overwatered it. The sun came out. I can't see anything now. This is a Carapegia, Serapegia woody. Here is also a beautiful, well-grown Schlumbergera. So, who else? Who's on the top shelf? Also, various things. Who else is here? This is a Hoya polystachia. I like it. Maybe it will bloom too because it has already produced a peduncle. I'll show the ones that have already bloomed in photos during video editing. And for the rest, I'll show them when they bloom. Aha! Here's another forest cactus that I... Oh, I'm casting a shadow that I tried to save. Someone in my brother's building left a huge bucket, a container, just huge, with this forest cactus. And it's standing there without light. It's really struggling. Of course I can't take such a huge plant. I have no space. But I tried to save it a little. I took cuttings. To give it a chance to live longer. Well, you see, it's rooted. It's growing. We'll see how it blooms. And here I have some more Haworthias. I'm casting a shadow again. I have variegated Haworthias and Trumcatas here. Well, in general, all sorts. 
I also have this Hoya Pubicolix. Beautiful. What a star. I just brought it here and it immediately started producing pink splashes. There's already a monster that's never bloomed. It lacks light at home. Here, I hope it will do better. Well, that's about it. Seems like I've shown and talked about everyone. The sun came out. I can't see anything now. This is my balcony. Green. You don't need to tell me there's too much here. I know. Well, you can tell me. I'm not critical. I know everything myself, but I can't do anything about it for now. That's all. Thank you for watching for your comments. See you in the next video. Glory to Ukraine.